Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Has someone special caught your eye lately? Having a crush on someone can be enchanting and beautiful, but it can also be embarrassing and painfully awkward. If you've been having trouble talking to your crush lately, don't worry, we've all been there. And while the best advice is to just be yourself, there are still certain things you should avoid saying to them. So here are eight things you shouldn't say to your crush. One, tell them they're better than your ex. It's never a good idea to talk about your ex to your crush and even worse to compare the two to each other. Your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend is no longer a part of the picture, so it's better to keep it in the past. You may come off as petty, immature, and insensitive as it only shows that you're still bitter about your past relationship and not entirely over your ex. Two, tell them you stalk their social media. Do you creep your crush's social media? Even though it's something a lot of people do, telling them that you stalk their profile all the time may scare them off and put you on their blocked list. Even if their profiles are set up to public, where everyone can view it, you might want to refrain from telling them how much time you spend going through their posts and stories. Three, ask them why they don't reply to you. Has your crush ever left you on red? When this happens, do you feel the need to pressure them into replying to you all the time? If so, they might start to think that you're needy. You might feel upset or disappointed by their lack of a response, but try to keep in mind that they may not have done it on purpose. They could have been busy or they needed some time to come up with a cool response. Four, you tell them your family wants to meet them. Did you invite your crush over to meet your parents? If your relationship is still in the early stages or isn't even established yet, there's no need to introduce them to your family yet. Meeting each other's family is a big step in any relationship, so they may feel overwhelmed or think you're rushing things way too quickly. Instead, you may wanna use your time to get to know each other more intimately first. Five, you ask them if they still have feelings for their ex. Do you wonder if your crush is over their ex? Well, if you ask your crush about their ex at the early stage of your interaction, it may just make you come off as nosy or jealous. Unless you've built enough rapport and trust between each other, asking them such personal questions might make them uncomfortable and defensive, and you might end up pushing them away. Six, you note down every single detail about them. Well, it's normal to pay attention to your crush and notice the little things about them, like the way they smile or dress. You may come off as a little intrusive and obsessive if you note down every single detail about them, like what they wore each day of the week. What might sound like a flattering mm -hmm. compliment to you might make your crush feel uneasy. Seven, you ask them if they like you more than others. Have you ever asked your crush, do you think I'm better looking than them? Or would you rather spend time with them or me? While it can be normal to feel jealous of your crush's other relationships, you may come off as overly possessive or jealous to ask such personal questions. No matter how subtle you may phrase it, pushing your crush mm. to compare you to other relationships may just put a strain on your relationship with them. And eight, you tell them who they should or shouldn't be with. Have you ever wanted to tell your crush who they can or can't spend time with? While there may be people you don't want to see your crush with, it's not your place to decide who they get to stay friends with or not. You may come off as controlling or possessive if you keep them away from other important people in their life because you want them all for yourself, and doing so will only drive them away. Do you agree with our list? Have you ever thought about saying any of these eight things to your crush? Or has anyone said these things to you? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.